Singer Wizboy, who created many high life tracks over the years, returned after a few years' musical hibernation with a new album, Change Over. The singer fraternizes with fans as he headlines the Meet Media series. After a short musical hiatus, High Life singer Isioma Ufuasia, popularly known as Whiz Boy, headlines the Meet Media series alongside actress and TV and radio girl Moet Abebe. A trained barrister at law, Abebe revealed that she is more fulfilled plying within the entertainment industry. Because I wanted something more exciting in my life. I'm a bit of an adrenaline junkie, so law was very monotonous. I felt it was the same program every day. But today, I can interview someone I didn't even think I would ever interview. I can, I travel, I do so many more interesting things that I, than, than I would have been doing if I was studying law. The Owusagi Kruna, who is a graduate of statistics from the University of Nigeria, Suka, started with a quick recap of his journey into the music world. From a very tender age, my mom taking me, you know, to the church for choir practices and the rest of them. But, you know, professionally, I started, I kicked off in 2005 after I left the university. And um, it's been awesome, it's been great, it's been massive. You know, I started actually by producing in Enugu because I didn't, I didn't, my movement wasn't actually a one-man thing. You know, I've always looked at doing something with a group of people and being the, you know, guy behind, like, behind the same guy and all that. But, you know, I started by producing in Enugu, made a lot of hit songs. At a point, I decided to start recording my own songs and they started, you know, making a lot of sense. Uh, my first breakthrough song back then in Enugu was Screen Saver. You know, in fact, the song it was such a, a success that I was trying to play catch up with the song. Like I was in Enugu, released the song, and all I heard was that, ah, guy, your song don't blow for Botar Koto. You know, and I was like, ah, I haven't even started promoting what's going on. You know, Owusagi was also a monster hit, and after the Owusagi, era that's when I moved over to Lagos and I hooked up with Nice and we did the remix of Owusage with Nice and you know it was big it got me no uh had his nomination for best street hop and all that Owusagi grew into a monster heat, lighting up many dance floors across the country and beyond. He followed that up with the Infinity album, which also received equal critical and commercial success. With Owusagi mainly delivered as a merge of High Life and Ghana's Hip Life, fans brought back the controversial Mr. Easy tweet about the influence of Ghana music on Nigerian sound. Actually, high life generally, you know, has uh, more Ghana roots than, you know, I could say um, maybe Nigeria and some other countries. You know, high life is a Ghana thing. But what you should understand about uh, music of today is that, you know, it didn't start evolving today and it's not going to stop today. You know, our founding fathers adopted high life, tweaked it, you know, and gave it a Nigeria signature. You understand? 
And apart from that, we also have our own indigenous sounds. We have our, you know, different cultures and what kind of music appeals to different cultures, which some other countries across Africa have tapped into, have adopted. So music is, African music is, I shouldn't, I, I don't think it should be, um, um, uh, it should be said that, okay, this country owns this or that country owns that, or it should be restricted to a particular country. I think we are all tapping from one another and uh, it keeps going. And it's high time we as Africa came up with one sound and said, this is Afrobeat or this is the real, you know, Afro sound. Yeah. three albums already to his name, Wizboy recently released his fourth studio album, Changeover. It's a whole new direction to the Wizboy movement, to the Wizboy brand, yeah? Because I always tell people, um, the success of an artist is not strictly rooted in um, having hit songs. You know, it's about growth. It's about knowing, you know, where you are at a particular point in time in your career and what needs to be done, what needs to be added, and you know what the new direction is. And that's what Changeover is all about. Yeah. I have some other producers. I worked with Mastercraft in the album. I worked with Celebre Boy in the album. Um, Magical Andy produced a couple of songs in the album. I also produced some in the album. So yeah, that's what it is. I'm open to new sounds. <laughs> 